Hi, welcome to Jones Joy Mindful Relaxation and Kindness Program. My name is Nancy, and today I want to talk about something serious, what to do if we're mean to someone else. But before we get started, let's do some stretches. So go ahead and take your hands behind your head, make some butterfly wings and take a deep breath. And then bring one, one wing up. Good, and the other wing up. I let it fly around a little bit. Good, look up again. And then fly off to the side, look behind you. Deep breath, long exhale. Fly over to the other side. Deep breath, long exhale. Come on back, give a stretch. Oh, and let your arms be quiet. Notice your feet on the ground. You can close your eyes if you want for a few moments. Notice the backs of your legs on the chair. Notice where your hands are touching your legs or your desk. And notice the air coming in and out through your nose. A short little body scan to help us get centered, to quiet down. Feel that sense of being at ease. All right. So today I want to talk about what happens or what we need to do if we're mean to someone. We all make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes hurt other people's feelings. Sometimes we might even try to hurt someone else's feelings. Sometimes maybe we're trying to impress our friends so we're mean to someone else. Sometimes we're just having a bad day and we think we might feel better if we're mean to somebody else. We feel so angry that we take it out on someone else whether it's a true mistake or we did it on purpose, we can make amends. We all know what it feels like to have someone be mean to us. And it hurts. It's unkind. It's not right. We didn't deserve it and no one else deserves it. Amends are usually about saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hit you. I'm sorry that I said something mean to you. And then you can explain, I was feeling angry about, and then tell them what it's about. And then just say, I will try to never let that happen again. If it feels really hard to say, we could write a note to someone and tell them that we're sorry. And then we need to forgive ourselves for making a mistake or for being mean on purpose. If we're mean to someone else because someone is mean to us, that means we probably need to talk to an adult about it so that they can help us sort through how we're feeling and what we should do next. Anytime we feel confused about our feelings, it's good to talk to someone who we can trust. It's stressful to feel conflicted inside of us and when we talk about what hurts our feelings, it can help us feel less stressed. So let's do a little guided meditation now. So go ahead and sit back in your chair. Just try to relax. Let yourself feel calm and soothed and if you do have some feelings inside of you that you've hurt someone, maybe this visualization will help. And if you don't have, if you haven't hurt anyone, just think about this as maybe something you might use in the future. So as you sit back and relax, you can visualize yourself breathing and softening and just being relaxed. Let your whole body soften into the chair. Let your whole body feel relaxed and gentle. 
you can visualize yourself saying these words. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Just noticing how it feels to, to say I'm sorry, to say please forgive me. And you can also visualize yourself saying, I don't ever want to be mean to you again. I don't ever want to be mean to you again. I don't ever want to be mean to you again. Noticing your breath, relaxing, knowing that these comforting, kind words can really help reduce your stress and reduce the stress of someone who you hurt. Just feel the tenderness after visualizing yourself saying these words. Hmm. The poet Maya Angelou once said, I have learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you do, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'll look forward to connecting with you again next time. Bye-bye.